Welcome to the Smoke Podcast. Welcome, oh. welcome everybody back to the Smoke. The smoke. Podcast. I'm giving. I'm already gonna give the smoke to somebody. Who are you? Uh, who you gonna give it to? Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, don't blame me on the alcohol. If y'all, 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 y'all only knew the production of this stuff. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm doing a lot of stuff down here. I got to hit the buttons and all this stuff. I mean, but that's what you support. I that's know, what your country is at. Niggas always get uh, uh, what they supposed to do. <laughs> you supposed to hit the damn button. You gonna get upset about you didn't hit the button. <laughs> right, that's, your, that's in your country. That's your job. All right, all right Smoke all you Family. Just keep your I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and fess up, folks. Smoke Family. I forgot to hit record. Uh, right. <laughs> we got to start off. But wait a minute. Is over. our YouTube going to say? <laughs> what our YouTube going to say? Hey, hey, we, we got to start all over. But <laughs> any, any, anyway, Anywho. welcome to another episode of The Smoke. Smoke. Can we get That's some it. housekeeping roots, housekeeping stuff out the go way ahead, first? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come go on, about. Isaac. We need you to introduce the uh, March 27th date. What's going on? So check this out. On March the 27th, from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, we're going to be at um, the Hard, Hard, Rock, Rock, the Hard Rock, Rock downtown Damn, Memphis. You, you, did, you forgot already? Damn. It's the alcohol. Damn. Stop drinking. <laughs> Come on. And then we're going to give away stuff. Come on. Yeah. So if you walk up and you say, I listen, I listen to the show mm-hmm. on The Smoke. We're going to give you a cigar. We're gonna give you a cigar. We got you. We got, we got you, booze. We got you. Now, now, don't come back in line twice or twice. three we, times. We're going to remember we ain't that One drunk. One cigar per person. <laughs> One cigar per person. <laughs> we ain't that drunk. We saw you yeah, already. Yeah, twice. So we're going we're gonna to bring our own cigar. We're going to bring some cigars down to give there away. to give away. Uh, mm-hmm. So you guys come out, support support, support us, and more importantly, support Will. We'll uh, put Will the link. Richardson is running for uh, District 86. District 86. Uh, state representative. Uh, the primary is uh, Arc, uh, August the 4th. 2022 and then the uh the major election is november the 8th so we want to uh just we really want to support get this bro we want to get wheel in there on the primary so he ain't got nobody to run against on right. the uh, we need this man here's, to here's win. the thing here's the thing will has been a major supporter, supporter of, of the, the smoke, smoke podcast. podcast you know and we always giving shots out to fat charlie's will also owns fat charlie so but he's you know, out mad respect for the bro yeah yeah he's a he's a great brother he's trying to do good things for the city and mm-hmm. you know that's what counts right and, so and, come on and, hang and, out you know what and that's not a knock to whoever he's running against absolutely no, not a knock at change. all it's, 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 it's just one of change. those things right. that um you know we need some new blood in yeah come on out and support and hang out with yeah. us and meet Fabian, Ike, and Kimberly. <laughs> why, why you laugh when it gets to your name? Meet Fabian, Ike, and Kimberly. Deuces. Hey, and when you and walk do not up, call do not Kim. call her Kim. If you, you call say her Kim, Kim yeah. I'm not answering. Don't worry she about it. I'll be like, they're talking to somebody else. <laughs> she won't answer you. She's going to have a little, 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 little messed up look, look on That's not true. That's not true. So meet yeah, us on the patio for a smoke yeah. and a sip. And meet Will if you want to. If you want to come hang out, we would love to see your face in the place. And we need y'all. We need y'all. We trying to do something on YouTube. Tell yeah. them, Mike. So, all right, right now we got 75 subscribers. We need to get to 100. I mean, we just need to get to 100. We get to 100. Right now, if you tried to find the Smoke Podcast on YouTube, you're going to have to type in YouTube.com slash QWZW <laughs> exclamation point pound, whatever. <laughs> we want to be able to just type in uh, YouTube.com slash The Smoke and you have to have 100 subscribers podcast. to get to that. So for so, now even if you're going to subscribe today we need you to type in The Smoke Podcast. But guess with, what? But guess what? When whoever that lucky person is Well let me finish giving them the link though so they can subscribe. We need ahead. the other 25 people. So you got to put in the search bar The Smoke Podcast with Fabian, Ike, and Kimberly and it'll pop up. Make sure yes. you hit the subscribe I know, button. That's a lot of stuff. I know we asking a lot, but that's okay. We need y'all to hit hey, up our Instagram hey, and great Facebook. Great things start small. small. I know we have no issue with we have that. No issue. Great things yeah. start. We're small. just trying to. We're just trying to do some big things. We're just that's trying it. to do some big things. People. That's it. That's all. But you know what? Mm-hmm. All right, who we got coming on the show today? Man, Ooh, child. We got- <laughs> Ooh, this dude's This man name. handed us five hey, cards. Don't, don't tell this, his name. Just tell his uh, acronym. His entrepreneurship. His, 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 his acronym is money isn't a major issue. We're going to let him explain that right, shit. Right, because yeah. we asked him to be a sponsor. Yeah, we said, man, go ahead and sponsor the, the Smoke Podcast, and he started heeing and hawing. No, no, this is what he did right here. <laughs> <laughs> we so low down. <laughs> no, but no, we, no, we no, might no, be able to no. change his mind we'll once he come mind, on the yeah, mic. We'll change his mind. But no, but here's, here's the interesting thing. I love Crown Apple. Mm, do you? But I like it 
freezing cold. Yeah, I'm Dude, like, I don't I'm think I like it. it freezing cold. And this is what the brother likes. He like crown apple and and tequila. Uh, and I didn't want no tequila, so I got him some crown apple. Okay, so you didn't want no tequila. Yeah, because I had some tequila. Oh, did he? Okay, so when he we we made his drink, did we put tequila in it? No, no, we because you know he, no, he wanted the crown. No, no, nah, nah, here's his other uh, thing. I didn't know of anybody that drank crown apple and coke. Together. Yeah, oh, that's, that's that's I didn't know. I didn't know that it's like sugar on top of sugar. Dang. And I would have bet money that he wanted it paired with a Tatiana. <laughs> Dang. Y'all doing no, that? No, we gonna let him. We gonna let him explain. No, we got it. We got it with a good. We got it with a good. Good cigar uh, because uh, as you that's know, that's what we do on the, on the smoke, smoke podcast. podcast. We ain't gonna. We ain't bring no bullshit. It. You got to bring some. You got to give us you something. Gotta we bring the heard, bullshit. Or you got to bring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to bring the bullshit. Right. On the right. Podcast. But we ain't, we ain't got time for that because no. you know why? Fabian got a whole humidor full of crap over there. Three hundred cigars. Crap. Why you got crap? How many cigars over there? Not crap. Now you got to take crap out. Okay, you got over how many cigars over there now? Three, about three hundred. So if you ain't got it, we got it. <laughs> no, if, you got ain't, you. if we ain't got it, you don't need it. Oh, no, nah, you need gonna, to bring I ain't gonna it. say that. Ain't gonna yeah, say that. If, if we ain't, ain't got it, we ain't got it. You need to bring it. There right. You go. So if you want to send us some cigars to add to the humidor, please feel free. So uh, let, me, let me just put this out there. I did uh, uh, James uh, Tony. What is this? The fighter, the boxer. We don't he used know. to be boxer, so he was a boxer. I sent. I did send you a message. We want you to be on the show. Hey, on, okay. hook it up, Tony. You can hook come down. Up. Get in your private jet. Come on down. Come on down. Come hey, on. Or we fly us to you. You probably yeah. don't remember, but me and, <laughs> me and Fabian, when we used to produce the uh, boxing shows down at the uh, Fitzgerald Casino, we took a picture with you. Mm -mm. So come on, dog. Hook us up. We would love to fly out and meet you. We'll bring all the Whoa, 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 whoa. No, we would love you to fly into Memphis and we no, get no, you on no. the show. Uh, or fly us said, out. Uh, fly, she, you forget to fly, fly us out. Oh, fly, uh, fly us out, us yeah. out and jet. give us a whole experience and we'll talk about it on yeah. the podcast. And you know what? And you know what? I want to give a shout out to all our, our smoke listeners. I got to right. give, give a shout out to my guys in Dumas, Arkansas. Damn, Dumas, Dumas. listening. Dumas, Arkansas. I got to give a shout out Man, to my guys. if it weren't for Doc. Dumas, well, I don't know what we'd be doing. Hey, <laughs> we got one listener down in Dumas. That's okay. That one hey. count. Hey, he won, and he won the first, um, he the sure first did. contest. He sure did. He so, listens faithfully. So, so Buck, I got to give you a, com uh, a shout out. Buck, come give to my, the I get, uh, I event give on my the shot. 27th. I got to give a shout out to my guy Doc. Doc, always a big supporter of the Smoke Podcast. Mm -hmm. And we got to we got to have hey. a uh, holler out uh, Cornelius. Cornelius, uh, Watts, uh, Cornelius, Cigar, Cornelius University, Cigar University, baby. Cigar University. University. That's what's up right there. The yeah. shout outs are flowing over there. Yes. You got anybody? No. You got the name? Don't give it the wheel. Oh, Will, Fat Charles. Yeah, <laughs> they take well, care of us. Well, you could have got somebody else. Huh? Because we didn't give Will a shout out earlier. That's okay. He can That's do it. Okay. He, he can stay in okay. uh, multiple We, we shout gave him a shout out for District 86, then we just give him one for Fat Charles. <laughs> <laughs> so don't right, forget, y'all, on the 27th of March, meet this us. month, meet us. Don't meet be there. Hey, don't come meet out, us come there. Out. Beat us there. Beat us there. There you go. Like Sip Stan and Bell smoke. say. Sip and smoke, baby. Come on, if you're a smoke. smoker, if you're a cigar smoker, and there's no reason we shouldn't see your face. Yeah, and it's for a good cause. Come on, I mean, intro. It's, it's to you know to, to help put Will into this position so that he can uh, represent uh, District uh, 86, 86? Uh, properly. That's yep. so, that's what's up. No, no heat, no shade, All no right, judgment. When we come back, we're gonna bring in our special guest. What's his acronym again, Ike? Money, Money isn't, isn't a major issue unless you don't have it. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Unless you, we ask you to sponsor the Smoke Podcast. <laughs> what, gonna right. get, what did he say when you asked him again? Dang. Straight crickets. I think we're going to change that to a hand clap by the time he yeah, get on this gonna, mic. He's going to have to give something. He's going to have to drop something off for you. We got him. We got him. Other than all these damn money, cards. Other than these cards. Money ain't an issue. Money ain't an issue. <laughs> then this, this, this right here, we're going to turn that into the dollars. Dollars, right. Because I what got three cards at? right here with his name on yes, it. Right. That's it. He sells soap. He, he sells. He sell, making it rain yeah. up in here. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Right, y'all, we back with Mr. Ooh. Money ain't a major issue. Money, we, Mike. That's What's it. going on, baby? <laughs> Not money, <laughs> Mike, man. How y'all doing, man? Miami, Mike. Miami, I'm Miami, sorry. Miami, I, did, I didn't say money, Mike. Miami, well, Miami, Miami. You can call him money or Miami, Mike. Yeah, because Miami, Miami stands for money ain't a major issue. That's what he told us. A-M-I. That's it right there. Money so, ain't a major issue. Ain't a ma it's not an Unless issue. Unless you don't have it. 
Yeah, don't. if you ain't got no money, it's an issue. But if you got money, like you got money, he then said it's not a major issue. He said y'all got the concept all wrong. Let what, him what, explain. Right, right, so explain it. Explain it to us. Then when Lil Wu called me, uh, he called me Money Mike. But uh, what Miami Mike stand for, it's an acronym. I stand for money is the major issue. What it means is I'm your best friend until you make me your worst enemy. So Don't look I, over here. I can, <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can be your best friend or your worst enemies on you. So I treat people how I want to be treated. So, mm. That makes and, sense. And then on, that the makes flip, sense. on the flip side of that, it stands for like, you know, most people think you make more money than them. Mm. You owe them something. Mm-hmm. So, and it comes in my name. It's like, I don't care if you make $200 a week or $200 million a week. You don't owe me nothing. Most people think because you make more money, you owe them something. You don't owe nobody anything. That's true. That's true. And I on, can get with that. And on the other side, it's, if you got $2 in your account or you got $200 million, I'm going to treat you the same. I'm going to treat you like family till you give me the, re- the reason to treat you like an enemy because I'm not going to treat you bad because of your financial situation. Right. So nice. that's what So that's what money you know is what? a major interest. I, I, I can, I can about how you treat it. people. It's not about money. That. Just like Drake, do right or kill anything, everything. It's an acronym, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just like Memphis Bleak is not from Memphis. Make it easy money, people hoes in style, you know? Mm-mm, mm-mm. So, Come on, we. M-P-H-I-S. <laughs> so, it's just an acronym, you know? So it ain't about money. It's how you treat people, how they treat you. Mm-hmm. A lot of people make it about the money. You know, you could be Mammy, whatever. Like I told V, she, I, I just named her Mammy V. I named a lot of my homies. We the Mammy crew. Big shout out about, to Veronica. I'm gonna tell you that Miami V. I was talking to her. I said, Hey, we need somebody with some major pull. On and the she show. brought you and up. And she said, You know, Miami Mike? I said, I've heard of him. I said, mm. Can you call him? Yeah. That wasn't no issue for her. And she said, uh, Ask me something that's hard. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? You know what we did, right? We done made Veronica our. Uh, Smoke podcast liaison. Oh, <laughs> you know what? You know, official <laughs> liaison. I'm, I'm, hey, yes, hey, I'm hey, sick of hey, I'm hey, sick of hey, 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 smoke family, smoke family, real quick. I'm 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 working on two inches. They, they so Ooh, they make me so that. sick. I'm, I'm, sick of, I'm hey, so tired of them. I got Ooh, the, I got the hey, app that I can measure hey, it if you need yeah. to. I don't know want hey, you hey, pulling that crap inches. out again. Hey, they got they gave me a cigar with some weed in it because this cigar got me high. Come on, come on, it's my come on, it's my apple crown. See, I've been drinking apple crown <laughs> last three years. I ain't never felt like this. It's the cigar. It's the cigar. They got you got a me, good stick. Got me floating. Hey, hey, you know what? But What's you know, I'm gonna say this. This this stick is a Bolivar. A Bolivar. Oh, hey, that's a good hey, one. You can tell I'm an occasion, uh, uh, occasional smoker. Uh, I was talking to my guy. I thought this right here was a, a finger holder. But it, <laughs> <laughs> he thought, he thought, thought the finger holder part. The finger holder part. I thought it was a wood holder. Help him out. Help him out. Man, I you thought that was a finger holder. But, you know, I ain't never seen him in no other cigar shots. I go, I go well, I watch. Mean, that's what happened. Ain't no when you, when you, hey, when so, you come to the smoke. So we, let me just throw this out. This my the my, smoke my wife uh, got the, uh, the cigar uh, glasses. Uh, mm. She was like, she was tired of us uh, holding the little plastic glasses. Mm. And at one point, I think Fabian had a different glass. Kimberly mm. had a different one. Yeah. And I had one. Yeah, so my wife bought us four cigar smoking I, glasses. I, mean, I, go, I go to a lot of cigar shops all around the world. I like, like I say, uh. Soldier, one of the Soldier Boy bodyguards, Big Dave. He's also bodyguard for Tom Cruise and a lot of more people. Oh, like, really? Like we go to Sweden, Dubai, everywhere. We, we had to go to a cigar shop for him to get him the best cigars. Mm-hmm. And the same with R. Kelly. Yeah, where he go, he got to get a, a cigar. So mm-hmm. it's well, R. Kelly ain't going cigars. nowhere right now. I'm yeah, just saying, but it's a, lot, it's a lot of people do this for life. You know what I'm saying? Right, like I said, right, I'm, right. Occasional, I'm an occasional smoker. Okay. Right, like right. when I smoke weed, I was an occasional smoker. I didn't mm-hmm. smoke weed every day. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm an occasional drinker. I don't drink every day. I drink on the. Oh, so that's hey, why you, you can hey, barely get back up them steps. But but you know what? You don't put a you don't put a dent you don't put a dent in that crown. Crown roll because they just apple. They, and, y'all and just I'm, open I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm gonna tell you that it, it's, it's free. It's family. it's free though. He said it's free. It, 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 well, it was free to you. <laughs> I ain't paying that. <laughs> right. See how far hey, come up in the hey, smoke at podcast. This point, right? Money wasn't no issue to you. Because <laughs> we, <laughs> we treat all our guests the but same. But you know what? You know what? It was it was one of those things. V said, "Hey." um, not this, V-Rock. V-Rock. I mean, oh, V-Rock. Miami, Miami, Miami V. I'm sorry, Miami, 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 Miami V. Miami hey, Miami as long v. as you started off with a V, she going to answer to it. Right. <laughs> so she said he drinks Crown Apple. I was like, for real? Mm, a man? You no, know, no. I love I, I love Crown Apple. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm but, just playing. But don't I like come for me. No, don't here's, come for here's me. The thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing with Crown Apple. They make the best Jello shots. Oh, do they? And that? they're really good when you put it in the freezer and just let it sit. 
Oh, okay. You take shots either. of it. I but didn't you, know it. But you know, to each his own. That's why yeah. it's so many. Look, let me tell you how I got it's on so the, much liquor. How I got on the Crown Apple, man. Like I'm a, I'm a, like I say, I, I'm a, like I drink uh, the, I drink a lot of stuff, but regular Crown is crazy. Regular Crown is too strong for me. I can't drink what? it. What? I can't drink it, but I can drink Apple Crown. Like this is girl. I can sold a couple of her name Ten K. She got hair. She's like Mike. You got to try this. I was, uh, mm-hmm. I was eating Thanksgiving dinner with their house, mm-hmm. and uh, she, I'm like, I don't want to try that one. Like Crown. She's no, it's different. It's different. Mm-hmm. So they tried it like. Three, four things to give us a go. I was like, it was really smooth. Yeah, I don't get too drunk on it. And I like. Uh, well, I why like, are you tipsy now? Because it's cigar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she want to blame it on. Blame it on the cigar. But, there you go. Hey, there but you look go. at that crown but, apple bottle. But you know, I don't know here's, about here's, that. Here's, a, here's the thing I'd say. Um, Mike. I've been sharing it with Mammy B. You know what I'm saying? I've been sharing it with Mammy B. Don't <laughs> yeah, put it all yeah, on me. Not, not, and I'm yeah. drinking it too. I'm on it too. I ain't gonna not lie. Not Mammy B. But you know, I didn't do it. I didn't do it with Coke. Oh, what I you didn't do? Don't, with don't give me that bogus charge. Like they said, I don't need that bogus charge, man. <laughs> not the bogus charge. <laughs> <laughs> but, not the bogus but, charge. But let, me, let me defend my drink. I ain't saying that when he was drink. when he was talking about his Jameson and all that stuff. Okay. Jameson was last week. You I right. like to enjoy my drink, and so I can say a lot of people say it's too sweet, but I can't. I know what I drink. Like I drink a Crown Royal. It's just like like it give me a headache, and I be too drunk, mm-hmm. and I, I get drunk like two or three shots. Mm-hmm. The same thing with Hennessy. Same thing with Cavazier. Same thing with Douce. This stuff is too strong to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm a man. I, but like Apple Crown, I drink like I that's can your that's your go to. Yeah, I can drink regular safe. Crown though. Uh, Peach is like uh, like I said, Don Julio. Mm-hmm. Don Julio. I don't like the regular Don Julio. I like the seventy or the or the 1942. Those mm-hmm. are the only tequilas I drink. Mm-hmm. I, I try Tito's. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can drink Tito's. I can. Uh, Patron give me a headache. Uh, uh, Ciroc is okay, but mm-hmm. that that Don Julio seventy man, it's smoother than eighteen forty two. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna invite you to try before you leave. Before some, uh, you leave, some uh, uh, good got, some good. I got a bar in my house. I know how everything cognac. tastes. Cognac. Oh, I got a bar in my so house. So do you have any uh, Pierre, Pierre Ferrand? Ferrand? Okay. Hey, if you okay. gonna say it, say it right. Pierre. I got my yeah, I got Pierre my fifteen thousand dollars of liquor in my bar. Okay, all right. All right. Pierre, all right. you need to invite us over. Yeah, yeah. yeah we need to do. A, hey, we need to do a podcast from your um your bar. Patio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my living room. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all love the red couch. Y'all need to do the red couch. The red couch. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I got, oh, a, I got a couch in Italy. I, I custom ordered. It was like forty thousand. Can I we ordered. smoke in it? Can we smoke in your living room? I'm gonna do a special thing for you guys. My, oh. Y'all gonna be hey, 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 somebody hey, ever smoked hey, in my hey, house? Hey, That's what I'm talking about right there. Special, a special day. A special day. Hey, make sure you get you a rabbit so we can pull out a smoke out the house. I gotta return the special gift back because y'all y'all got gave me a special oh, gift. Let me smoke on camera. That's what's up. All right, That's let me let up. me ask you this. So 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 Miami Mike, mm-hmm. what all do you do? Miami. Uh, you no, know, uh, I used to be a habitual criminal. Now I'm a habitual entrepreneur. You know? Not criminal. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of people. I did seven years in prison, you know what I'm saying, for money learning. But, mm-hmm. you know, I got out and changed my game up. Uh, a lot of people know me for, yeah. like, I Heart Memphis hit the corner, took up him, and a lot of people know him for Soldier Boy, mm-hmm. uh, K Stylist, and, and the King of Twerk, uh, K Stylist, and uh, uh, Samantha to watch As a producer? Song. A manager, manager, and executive producer. But, okay. But I manage a lot of people, but. I have a, a consulting company called A Plus Consulting and Financial, uh, and we got agents and everything. I, I help I help assist over twenty people to become a millionaire to this day. Okay. Well, All right. Can you add? Can you add three more? Three more. Yeah, I'm just I'm with it, man. That's what I do. All we right. Need, okay. And now, now I gotta ask you this. Now you you rocking the PTE. Palm Tree Entertainment. The label that pays me. Tattoo my tattoo my my uh, label. Don't tattoo my initials. Don't tattoo my name. Tattoo my logo. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 tell us about Palm PTE. Tree Entertainment. Yes. What Palm Tree Entertainment is? Uh, I'm a I'm a concert promoter b- uh, b- before I went to prison. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I did a lot of shows, and I lost a lot of money. You know how black folks, if it rain or snow, anything, yeah, ain't Negroes coming. ain't coming out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, used to, I used to learn I, my money. I used cannot to do, stand I, us. I used to learn my money. I used to do concerts. Like, let's say, I'd get some guys. I was an angel investor, what you call it. Mm-hmm. But they said I was learning money. But I called myself an angel investor to return my money. Mm-hmm. But What kind of investor? Right, uh, let, let, investor. Let, let, I didn't let, want nobody to know I was getting the money. I was an angel investor. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Here's the thing, you smoke family. <laughs> There's a lot of things we can't do being uh, black, uh-huh. and that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making it sound good. Hey, you but, made but, it but, sound good. But, I don't want to say I some I things. I don't want to say I was learning money. I know, but but white people can get away with it all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. but there's some shit we can't but get away I with. I got a sugar cut I'm let the haters not, hate not on just, me. Not just white people. I'm gonna let the haters hate on me. I'm gonna share. Yeah, but that the ain't The Jewish community. I got a sugar cut myself. Put it out there. Yeah. Huh, right, cause I, I can't wait to get a smoke. So, I got somebody I want to get. So smoke what to. happened was what happened with PTE Palm Tree Entertainment. 
I, I was like, just say I, I, I put 300000 on this show mm-hmm. with, with, with some artists. And uh, I made money. But only time I ever lost when I did some shit like in Chicago, it snowed. Mm-hmm. Detroit, it snowed. Mississippi or whatever. So you didn't check the weather forecast? No, but you know, you got to promote a show, a big show. You got to go six months ahead of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like my people right now, they're doing some shows in, we're doing some shows in, in, in Brazil in November and December. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So hopefully, shows. so hopefully a hurricane don't shit. hit. They're just a gamble. It's like a casino. It's yeah, a gamble. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Hey, you know what? It is. And and any anybody that knows anything about promoting shows or promoting mm-hmm. any kind of event, weather yeah. really do make a difference. They make a fa- special but check, fix. But check this right here out. <laughs> All the time I made all my money, it was places with palm trees at, like L.A., L.A., Jamaica, or mm-hmm. Brazil, uh, Miami, mm-hmm. South Carolina, New Orleans, all any, the time. anywhere that had a palm tree, I made money. That's why you call it palm See, tree. I, I, I'm saying, and I've yeah. heard Memphis. Yeah. Memphis is described as a walk-up market. It's a walk-up city, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they wait. They, hey, you have, they wait to, mm-hmm. You can they have a thousand tickets minute. sold. The day of them niggas, I mean, oh, the back <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, they pull up. They pull up game strong. Oh, they pull, pull up game strong. They pull up game hey. strong in the but last you quarter. You can't count that money though until yeah. they until they they pull, shows up. Hey, they like Michael. Hey, you gotta keep they, that in. Yeah. They like Michael Jordan with thirty seconds left on the clock, man. The fourth quarter <laughs> with the ball. That's how they able to buy the tickets. Last day they pull it up. <laughs> pull up game strong. <laughs> Stay in Memphis. It's a lot of walk-up city like the Memphis pull-up games. No, Memphis, uh, hey, hey, Memphis, Memphis is, is, hey, that's why would you give an award to Memphis? You, we anybody asks you, they say, I mean, I mean, the the thing is, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. No, if you, no. you can make it in Memphis, you can make it in Memphis, Memphis you, can you can make, make it, it anywhere. anywhere. Right, that's because it. Memphis will let you down and they will surprise Prize you at the same, at the same time. Because we we had a, a good friend of the, but depending uh, on who the artist is too, though, you a good friend of ours. She she wasn't bringing necessarily hip hop. But she was bringing like Alvin Ailey dancers in, even for her show. Al Jarreau, Al Jarreau, yeah, stuff like that. Mm. Still, she oh. was she was sweating, sweating until until the day of. She was like, "Please don't rain, please." Yeah, don't please, rain. Don't please rain. don't rain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So they go to the palm tree, like all the cities I did stuff with, with palm trees, like like I said, in all the countries, Jamaica, uh, anywhere, uh, anywhere that had a palm tree, I, I did good. You know what I'm saying? So I like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Something about these palm trees. So mm. and uh. When I caught my drug charges, I had some charges, but I had like nine drug charges. I beat them all. Mm-hmm. All the ones in the cities that had palm trees, like L.A., I beat the charges, but the motherfucker that have a palm tree, I lost it. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are these palm trees? So, so you should only do Miami, <laughs> yeah, New not, Orleans, yeah, yeah, Los yeah, Angeles, yeah, had, yeah, San Diego. I had, I had a condo in Miami at the time, you know what I'm saying? That's how I got the name Miami Mike, though. But uh, but uh, it ain't from that. Though. I got the name Miami Mike in prison, one of my homies named it. Because oh, when I was locked up, you know, when we locked up, all you have coming in is mm-hmm. like your, your visitor. Right. You got your mail mm-hmm. and you got your canteen mm-hmm. and the letters. Mm-hmm. Oh, my girl, man, she would send me pictures of her every week her on the beach on her friends. Mm-hmm. That's and, prison, well, hey, you got, you got pictures. Hey, you hey. got pictures of pretty girls in prison. <laughs> It's like the That's lottery, crazy, right? Dudes will buy your, yeah, dudes will buy your yeah, pictures. Yeah, it was okay. Mike, Mike, Mike what pictures. you got today, man? What you got today? <laughs> yeah. I, I was selling pictures in prison. There you go. Say, oh, Lord, the hey, entrepreneurship hey, was, I was extended. Selling, I was selling pictures in prison. Like, my girl might send me 20 pictures, her and her friend. The ones she mm-hmm. have, the ones mm-hmm. that she went on with her, just her, just her friends mm-hmm. or something, I would sell them. I'd give them to guys. So they mm-hmm. get a canteen for it. You know, in jail, you ain't got can- money. Right. You got a canteen. Yeah, What's yeah. canteen? Put it on your books. Canteen is like, you go, like, once a week, you can buy, like, Cokes. You can buy noodles or whatever. Soap, whatever, on canteen. It was besides hold what on, the steak you. Soap wasn't free. <laughs> you get soap. This is the cheap shit that makes you itch. <laughs> but you want some, some ivory shit that make your ass. <laughs> yeah, when you want some ivory or some shit like that. You got to go to canteen. <laughs> So you got to have money on the book. <laughs> Boy, if y'all can't say nothing else, this show is, infor- is, 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 is informative That's like a mug. Yeah. So, 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 so explain. I'm, 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 I'm going to get through with the palm trees. Okay. okay. So my luck is good with palm trees. Okay. So, so I said, damn. I said, what's up with these palm trees? So I'm in jail. I'm in jail. So I'm in jail. I did 70. I did 84 months. So I'm in jail. I'm like, I started reading the Bible more. Mm-hmm. And then I was reading did about the help? palm. And I was reading about the palm trees. That had ain't having no time then. We no more popping bottles with models. You know what I'm saying? I was just reading the cell. And uh, I so cannot. I was reading this the Bible. Show is I was I was reading the Bible that uh, palm trees are the strongest things, that, and uh, uh-huh. and they're 
and like a hurricane will come, it'll blow everything down but the palm tree. Even though right. the, the palm tree, the only tree that'll bend, they won't break. Right. And and, and that's me. It's it'll bend, but it won't break. Right. Through the storm and it stand right back up. That's uh-huh. me. You can bend me, but you can't break me. Right. Okay. So that's, palm tree so entertainment. So that's why I named my company Palm Tree Entertainment. Okay. Uh, it's it's, it's short what? for it's short for beautiful entertainment. Mm-hmm. So so check I this see. out. So we we went to our friends Google. <laughs> Google. Google. You Google me? I never Google I myself. Google, I Google, no, I Google palm tree okay. biblical meaning. It okay. says early Christians used the palm tree to symbolize the victory of the faithful over the enemies of the soul. So, bam, there you go. There that's you go. Right there. Broke hey, down. Victory. Victory, that's it. But victory. see, I never I, I never Googled it. I just read the Bible. Because you, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't have nothing but time. <laughs> it, has some, it has some deep meanings, man. Uh, and, and uh okay and take I, a I had so much luck with palm trees i made so many millions and uh and i was like man I, I, and it was be- palm, it was, I wanted palm trees was beautiful and i wanted a beautiful entertainment because every time i that's why i named my company palm tree entertainment because every time uh, a palm tree anytime anybody want to go on vacation they want to go somewhere with a palm tree they mm-hmm. relax they want to go anywhere bruh, but most of the time yeah, most of the time it. you're going to go somewhere with a palm tree at. that's like, true you want to go all the beautiful the most beautiful places going to have a palm tree you want mm-hmm. you go to dr you got a palm tree you go to mm-hmm. you go to jamaica it's palm trees you go to rio de brazil you go to cancun mm-hmm. you go to dubai miami. you go to you go to you know miami you know that though right. automatic and, uh, and, and and uh, and most of the, and like I can say, in LA like, got nothing and, but palm trees. Yeah, in LA, you know, you know the LA. You know, I got a condo in LA and Miami. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In Atlanta, my we house need to here. It. And check this out, right. y'all good, y'all family now. Hey, 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 you hear what he said? He's like, he was in the middle of his 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 sentence. Like, y'all family now. Yeah, y'all <laughs> remember that shit now, yeah. Yeah. right? We don't we don't we don't want to have to replay this for you. This is what I want to know. Okay. I want to know where you got the acronym for Miami. Uh, uh, one of my homies named me that. Just like it's a, it's a, like uh, anybody with a real a nickname, like everybody from the hood, somebody named you that. My homies named me Miami Mike. So mm-hmm. uh, he just told me he named me that. He's like, man, money ain't no major issue to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, like, like, oh. I don't, like we was just, he just named me that. Well, my homeboy, Lil Melvin from Baseball, he said, man, money ain't no major issue, man. Because, you know, n- n- no, I was a big drug dealer. Nigga, 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 me as a ball and all that shit. But, you know, he, he started from there, and my name before that was Psycho G, and I ain't like that shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> hold on, so you went from Psycho G yeah, to, to Miami, Miami Mike. Mike. Yeah, Miami they Mike. started calling me in prison, but it was okay when I got out. I said, I'm trying to change my life. I had 12 goals in my mouth. I took them all out, mm-hmm. oh, okay. and uh, I had long braids down my hair. I got them back now, but I hadn't had braids. I don't really got my braids back now because I ain't been getting no haircut because of COVID. I ain't mm-hmm. want nobody touching my face. Dude, I got a pretty right. good strain of hair, you know what I'm saying? You got they pretty good skin. They yeah, man, I got you got skin. good skin, man. They say I got any little in in my hair, you know what I'm saying? So... And, and, and man. Drinking all that palm water. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and then crown apple. Yeah, right. Crown hey, apple. Man. He said palm that's tree, I'm through with it. Palm tree entertainment. I'm sticking to it. Mammy Mike and I went from dope to soap. Dope to soap. <laughs> that's oh, it. that's yeah, right, because yeah, yeah. he got the soap shop. He got shop. the soap, too. So mm-hmm. tell us about the soap shop. The soap shop. Uh, what to do I want to do with the soap shop? I wanted a way I, I can make some money. Uh, my partner, Rico, he's in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. How come everybody got a partner named Rico? I got a partner mm-hmm. named Rico. I don't know, because oh, I don't. Sick, I'm sick of Rico's. <laughs> Dang, you don't like nobody. He I already told me he was sick of me. Well, yeah. Well, why did, you tell, why did you say you were sick of Kimberly? <laughs> it's just something I say to people. Like, everybody know me. It, it, it's the opposite. It's like reverse psychology. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, my homeboys, we get ready to go out. You know, you don't tell a man he's pretty. You're like, man, you ugly as a motherfucker. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, you said it, but, but we know. We wouldn't tell somebody we don't know that nigga might want to kill you, but, but you know us, you know what we're talking about. You're going to tell a man he look good. Like, damn, nigga, you ugly as hell, nigga. Mm. But we, we, we do it in a good way, so we know what it means. Like, you don't know us. be like, them niggas call each other ugly, them niggas disrespectful. But mm. it's, it's a thing, a family thing. You know, mm-hmm. that's so what's up. I gotta tell. Family. I gotta tell. If I tell you you make me sick, I fuck with you. I don't tell nobody. Oh, I'm make, in the family. I don't tell nobody. We're the family. We're I don't family. tell nobody you make me sick. Unless I know you, because I go to you like, man, I mentioned like, nigga, you make me sick. Like, you gonna be like, this nigga crazy. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't know. Me. I gotta know you. I can't. I gonna just come up and say, nigga, you make me sick. I'm like, this nigga crazy. How I make this nigga sick? I don't even know. Him. So, <laughs> I said the same thing, man. But it take a long time for folks so, to say so, that. About so, me. I've been knowing. I've been, I've been knowing Veronica a long time. I just told her today she made me sick. I've been knowing her a long time. I heard you told you made me sick today. I just met you. <laughs> it feel like you Dang, family. that's terrible. So, you, so, you so Kimberly, family. that was a compliment. That was a compliment. Ain't that right, man? So, right, what man be? Ain't that right, man be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she she be oh, so, so tell me this. What do you think of the cigar? 
Man, it's good. I told you, I'm, I feel like I'm on cloud nine, man. So, yeah, so, yeah. so, 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 so real tell, quick, tell us about the vibe. Vi our friends of uh, Google, oh, of course. What uh, I was talking about? I got back to the. What I was talking about? The soul shop. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you about the cigar first, right? Okay. Quick. So cigar. the cigar we're smoking is a Bolivar. Uh, it's a great uh, cigar. I'm sick of uh, you. Rich I'm in sick history. Of you in Google. <laughs> Don't don't be don't be sick of us. We ain't Google. on Google now. Google's Google our Google gonna sponsor us one day. <laughs> <laughs> it says uh, this cigar is rich in history and flavor. Uh, the uh, Bolivar Dominican cigar. If you desire a cigar that is fuller in strength, look no further than the Bolivar. Behind the well-known Bolivar cigar brand name lives a long, rich history and premium cigars dating back to 1901. Woo! So you smoking a, 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 a so a, here's here's a, a the classic thing. cigar. Here's the thing. So this gonna cost me. I don't, I don't get nothing like that for free. I'm getting this for free. Yeah, yeah, give me that. You get yeah, it for free, dog. It, for free, it, it says Bolivar we'll received a, a well-deserved 90 plus rating, noting a rich brown wrapper. This cigar burns well, draws well with creamy, uh, slightly sweet flavors, and as a well-made cigar. And mm -hmm. I would agree with everything you said. I'm agree with everything mm -hmm. you say. Any got a. Oh, y'all smoking? Y'all smoking the same thing? I'm smoking. We smoking? Yeah. What you smoking, dog? I, I thought you just gave me something. No. Because I'm a case. Hey, 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 when you come on you the say, smoke, I'm going to give you this. You talk to the other guy. I'm watching. Smoke what hey, you smoke. Hey, I'm watching, man. Hey, hey, hey when the other guys this. came, you would say, What you want? You say, Yeah, you gave me. You went over there. Hey, and you told me to go I get would, it. I, when, I, when you asked me, you got, you got one and gave me one. Yeah. You let them go in the fridge. I didn't get a chance. I didn't get the luxury to go into the tea glass. Because we already knew you wasn't a big cigar smoker. You like, are a connoisseur so, of cigars, so but you're not a big cigar a, a, smoker. Occasionally don't count, though? Yeah. No. You know, niggas get their ass whooped on occasion, but they <laughs> occasionally get your ass whooped. Niggas occasionally Dang, whoop it's rough up. over here. So, uh, it counts. <laughs> occasion counts. Hey, but you know what? That's a good smoke. Here's, a, here's smoke the thing. We wanted, to pick, we wanted to pick something out that, that was, was going to represent the Miami Mike feel. feel. Mm-hmm. So we that's, why we got the, that's why we got we the We got you the best and, and of the here, best. Here's the first, first thing. This is the first time we featured this cigar on the show. So, yeah. That's a great cigar. And, and, it, it, it and, and I, you took a picture right on the two yeah, inches. I had two hey, inches. Get a picture, get a picture of me. Man, we got right you. Man, we, we're professionals up in here. We got you we got already. You about 10 times. Bro. Right. All right, right. So right. what we're going to do, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to find out more about Miami Mike's get soap us. shop. And we're going to get gonna a find smoke. Out, we're going to find out more about. Hold, hold up, Ike. We're going to find out more about what Mike is doing. Because mm -hmm. I know he works a lot with Soldier Boy. I know he works a lot with a lot of entertainers. And 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 just stand by because this is gonna be a fire show. And y'all follow me on uh, Instagram. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna get, get all that. We gonna no, get I'm talking talk to the subscribers. No, <laughs> y'all follow me on this Instagram. This show is off the radio. At, 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 at CEO Miami Mike, you'll see me. I got the blue check and all that. No, I'm saying. Oh, the blue check. verify, verify, verify. We be right back. We be right back. It's a lot of. I don't want the blue check. Is we verified? Hey, you know that Judge Joe Brown said they never gave him the blue check. Yeah, yeah, he did say that. All right, we'll be right back. I don't know why they be trying to trip and make me bring back the show when it's their job and it's in the contract. Baby and I. You just did it. Get on my nerves. Like, what, what up, what up, what up, what up? Yes, yes, yes. We here with Miami Mike. Mike, Boy, what's just so much information. Mike, I tell you what, man. I tell you what. I, I, what I'm up, a, Miami I'm a, I'm, You know what? What up, Miami Ike? That sounds good. <laughs> I'm a um, Miami Ike. I Miami, said Miami Mike. Miami, Miami, uh, uh, Kimberly. Miami Ike. Kimberly. And Miami, uh, Fabian, Fabian, is that? Uh, we Say got to tell him Miami Ike <laughs> sounds better. Yeah, Fabian. What was it? Yeah, Miami Ike sounds better. Miami so, Ike so, sounds better. So, um, I tell you what, man, I thought I was a hustler, hustler until, baby, until I met you. Right. I'll be honest with you. You are. I, I, only, got, you got, I only got. You one. got soap. I don't have no Emmy. You, you got soap. soap. You got soap. Soap. You got condoms. <laughs> Tell, hey, hey, tell, us, tell about us about the condoms. No, 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 no. Tell us about the soap first, and then we're going we're gonna to parlay to the soap. They so ready to talk uh, about went, the, condoms. To the, to the condoms. I, I went from dope to soap. Dope to soap. Dope to soap. 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 <laughs> Dang. It's I'm, called the soap shop. Mm -hmm. I went to soap. I said, well, my partner Rico in, in Montgomery, Alabama, he was... We st we he st we started... When he started in 2000, oh, 2006, mm -hmm. I didn't want to get in it because... The jugs were too big, like the five, the, the five, ten gallon jugs. Like man, I couldn't see myself letting an old woman do that. He had been trying to get me into when he got into it, when he first got into it. But in 2014, he came to Mike. I know we invented it. We got some smaller jugs with the logo. I said, man, I'm with that. So that's when I jumped in the game. 
Mm-hmm. He has a story. So what does this guy do Alabama? with the old women? You said something. No, like just, I'm just telling you, like, like when we went in, in in 2014, we came with the smaller jugs, okay. and we and we and we uh and we. Uh, so you're not you're not doing bars or soap. You're doing the, no. The I'm, jars doing, or soap. I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing I'm uh, doing jugs, two and a half gallon jugs. <laughs> I said we we we, fr- we commercial and industrial. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. 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 I can't. Okay. Just I say I got a saying. guy from. Just say I got a guy from Chattanooga, Tennessee. He buys mm-hmm. three hundred. He has a. Uh, uh, he has a, a, a company that he has fifty employees, and he sells it. And he he has a contract with University of Tennessee and the hospitals and colleges, and, and he buys like three thousand jugs a month from me. And you know what I'm saying? And and I, I only make like. Three three dollars profit every jug you buy, but that's three that's Shit. nine thousand a I month. Mean, hey, that, hey, that, that's that's he called said, that's called said, mailbox money. That's called residual. He said he said he I, I, I'm, only, looking, I'm looking at your I'm looking at your cards you gave. You know you gave us a bunch of cards, but right? This one card say you service schools, like daycares, we churches. Do, we do fundraisers just like the Krispy Kreme donuts and all. <laughs> not the Krispy Kreme. I can't. Uh, hey, let me back up. Give me some more fire. I need some more fire. Man. I cannot. We got, with you, the we, got you, we got you. We got you. We got you. We got you. So he got spa. He got gold and platinum memberships available. And let's see what else he got going on. Also, it's the shop. So you can find him at the Soap Shop Franchise on Instagram. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the website Soap Shop Franchise too. Okay. We got, oh, we got the blue, we got the blue check too. Dang. Now what's the blue check? Verified. Verified. <laughs> he legit. legit. So y'all ain't got to worry about coming to his to page. Quit. He legit. Too legit. He ain't gonna be quit. like saying hello. How right. are you today? Right. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got that kind of time. I got a message. I got a message. You made me suck it in, but I, I, I got a message today. I followed this lady on uh, Instagram, and she said, "Hello, how are you today?" <laughs> <laughs> so you know what my, was. my first my first response was what's up cuz <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, i'm like you I, I i i mean especially when you bored i mm. entertain that shit yeah i'd be like what's up cuz i do i do i was, what's up man Dude. i saw you yesterday yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> i cannot with them i'm serious i'm yeah, serious you it, be it's, like, it's, uh, sometimes it's fun yeah it's you mean she, she started talking about did i tell you about the deal i said why don't you call me i said cuz <laughs> <laughs> well, we just talk. We just, let's just have a conversation. You ain't got to send it to me on Instagram. I mean, I, I, I knew somebody accounts that had gotten hacked, and I, I, I right. followed Sometime them. Sometimes when you don't have shit to do, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty it's cool. It's, 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 it's pretty It's just really entertaining. I guess I ain't got time. <laughs> so, 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 Miami Mike, man, uh, what other ventures are now, now? What's your deal with Soldier Boy? Mm-hmm. Uh, I discovered him from day one. You watched the Soldier Boy documentary. I and saw that. Like, that's me, Miami Mike. I just didn't have my, my hair, and and I have I didn't have uh, I I had my hair. How my hair was on that? I had a, I had a, I had waves then, but I discovered he was working at Burger King when I found him. Dang. So that nigga I'm that he give me never a job says at Burger that. King tomorrow. So he's at Burger King. You walked in there and he was rapping. No, uh, actually, uh, he used to come to me and like like man, uh, work with me. You know what I'm saying? All that, you know. Mm-hmm. But he was working at Burger King at the time. You know. Oh wow. Okay, that's what's up. Okay. But I actually went in there and seen him flipping hamburgers before, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when I met him, he wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but, but he was okay. working there, but when I met him, now, we went there. Now, do you still fuck with him? Yeah, yeah. We just got the phone before I came in here. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's cool. call him that's right cool. now. <laughs> nah, we don't no, we do all that. <laughs> so tell, tell us about these you know condoms. What? Be, tell us about the condoms. I'll be honest Hold on, hold on, Mike. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I'm a, I'm a big Soldier Boy fan. and uh, Soldier you know, Boy, tell him. And, I, you know, next time he come to Mississippi, because I know it's where he's from, Maybe he can bless us here at the Smoke Podcast. At the Smoke Podcast, Podcast. Um, we'll take care of him. We're supposed to be doing a show at the Universal Arkansas pretty soon coming up, and then I might, I might invite well, y'all. Well, if, if y'all fly places. into Memphis, just <laughs> stop by the Smoke. He just then, told uh, us to come to Arkansas. Did you not hear that part? I did, but I'm. I, hey, he, you he, heard, hey, I, he's I, flipping I, the narrative. I flipped no, it up no. and said, well, yeah, if yeah, y'all fly yeah, into I'm, Memphis, I'm a man of my word. Yeah, swing by the Smoke first, mm-hmm. and yeah, then head on down. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Because Arkansas ain't got no damn airports. No, no, that is not true. They got. They do they they do for PJs. Yeah. Yeah. See there? Private jets is what he's saying. While you trying to check Arkansas. On the PJ you can land in the back. If you got a private jet, you can land that joint in. Well, Soldier Boy should be able to land his helicopter right back in behind. Oh yeah. There you go. Not behind the not behind the studio. (laughs) Just coming straight on in. And you say he's a cigar smoker, right? No, Big Dave is bodyguard. Big Dave. Bring Soldier Boy. Bring Soldier Boy and bring Big Dave and we'll we'll have him on the smoke. No problem. No problem. We got no him. No problem. We got him. <laughs> if I bring a soldier, y'all 
that's not the big time. Y'all gotta let me come drink every day. We we sell it. He get he get twenty five thousand for a tweet. So you know we getting for an interview. So oh wait, so you know you owe me for you for a long time. You owe me and Mammy B. Will you handle that? We bring Big Drake with him. He's owe me. <laughs> you come, you come drink every time. Because he got to get 25K from somewhere. Well, yeah. we so yeah. I got to give it to him. We so. already got uh, Miami V on payroll. As he gets off, <laughs> as he gets off the plane, he's going to be like, hey, we're going to swing by here we're first. We're going to swing by here first. Because you got to come this way to get to Arkansas anyway. So come off the airport. Come on down. And, and come back. You got to come this way to get to Arkansas anyway. So come off the airport. Come on down and just swing by here first. Just for five minutes or so. Yeah, five minutes. got to hang out long. Hey, once he get here, just like you got here. got to show he ain't gonna want to leave. He, he ain't gonna want to leave. He, well, it's not. It's not. It's the contract is not signed yet. But he got a show coming to Ole Miss. Uh, there also. you go. There you go. I'm hey, like so Miss. hey, Smoke family. Here pretty soon, Miami Mike gonna bring Soldier Boy to the Spotlight Studios. Right. We ain't gonna let be. you know until after he leave. Right. Because don't yeah. be coming down here wearing us then. Yeah. <laughs> so so tell us about these platinum condoms. That's that that's that's. I'm holding one in my hand. So right here, uh, y'all can see it. Bam. Be, right there. Uh, right. He gave me one. This uh. <laughs> I can't wait to see you use it, Kimberly. That's uh, a this, <laughs> this show hey, get on my nerves. That's, uh, that's uh, it's called B condoms. It's a black owned condom. It's uh, black owned, y'all. Black right, owned. Right now, it's in uh, it's 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 it's, it's been out over over six years, but. Just last year in June, it just got into 500 Walmarts. From there, it got into 10,000 more stores. But and you so, said this was vegan, odorless, yeah, and something it's, else. It's vegan, odorless, organic, and it's pH balanced for a woman, and it's tasteless. 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 Yeah, and like, no oils in it. Everything is organic. Organic. Okay. Dang, All come right, on. Kimberly. Then no, they also, I yeah. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> <laughs> they also have it in chocolate and the strawberry oh, flavor. Oh, oh, so that's what you talking about, right? So what you, I do? You ain't got no excuse, Kimberly. <laughs> so what I do? <laughs> what the hell y'all got? No, no, no. Y'all got on <laughs> I, <got a> <laughs> yeah. hey, I just consult the company. You know what I'm saying? He mm. paid me, I, I'm a consultant. Like I said, I, I, I get paid a lot of money. Like, mm-hmm. They could just consult this company, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you gonna open it up? Oh, oh, you gonna open it up? Right there, right there, right there. Show that camera right here. That camera, that camera. This camera right here, right here, right here. Oh, okay. This show ridiculous. Hey, feel it, feel it though. Uh-uh. This, this not not that old. Direct. Let's 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 organic oils. Hey, that's that, hey, that's a, hey, that that's caught him on a whole oil. nother level. I'll get into oil filling. I'm gonna I'm 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 feel my. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. Kim is getting sexy. She's getting sexy. I'm just open. Come on, Kim. I believe you. I'll take your word for it. You're gonna smell it. Hey, smell it for about. Yeah. I'm saying this is the real deal. I hate this show. It's the real deal. Yeah, smell. I'm taking a break. Smell it. I'm trying to help you. I believe you. You ain't, listen. I believe you, cause you wouldn't come on this show and tell us it was vegan and odorless and tasteless and <laughs> strawberry and chocolate in it. Hey, I'm trying to be a billionaire one day. Okay, well come on, come on, platinum. Hey, you know what? You know what? Huh? Because if he a billionaire, that means we're gonna be millionaires. Right, 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 there right. You go. I'm there here for go. the vegan and and odorless, tasteless, and he yeah. said he got chocolate and strawberry, y'all. Yeah. All right, all right, Shout out to Two Official, my my boy, and then Jason, the CEO of B Condoms, yeah, man. What's it called? Uh, B, B Condoms. B Condoms. B Condoms. Yeah, it's like, mm. it's the best condom in, in, for real. Not, in the world. In, in the, the world, world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. <laughs> B Condoms, B Condoms. Feel like you ain't got nothing on. Mm. B Condoms, ladies. <laughs> B condoms. <laughs> hey, hey, so ladies, yeah. if he don't pull out a V condom, if he don't pull he tell out his this ass to go home. right here, he got no, to go home. Him, put them magnums up. <laughs> put them magnums up. Put them magnums up. Condom. She had like I should have tasted this. I wish you would. I, you you talking about don't like me. You no, I get you. I'm a, hey, I'm hey, a. We got to touch it. <laughs> 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 We've been take a break. <laughs> Look at the, well, hey, it ain't time to take a break. It's time to get somebody Sudden to smoke. smoke. Woo! Now, now, uh, um, uh, Mike, if you don't know this, we get a smoke. We get a smoke to people that do dumb shit. Dumb stuff. No dumb shit. Dumb stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. So, we I, trying to get somebody the, the smoke. smoke. Uh oh. I don't want no care? smoke. I don't want no smoke. I'm with giving nobody. the smoke to that inventing Anna lady. Mm. Because what? Tell us about her Cause y'all know she Okay first of all She was like this socialite from Russia And the only reason why she got away with everything she got away with Was because of what She from Russia Yep <clears throat> And she, she is She's uh, Caucasian white. Yep <laughs> But it's a true story though you know, It's, just it's a, a true story but she. The thing is it's like the, that narcissistic behavior Yeah but you know you gotta Sometimes like it's good and bad But you know people need to see how these people are Really scamming people out here yeah, A lot of people don't know that. That, that film is educational too so I, right. I,
Because she like, really did work. show you how you can get away. I but mean, she, these people will really... Some people slow need to see that. They can watch a movie and learn stuff. Like, they can. Like, I wasn't mad at it. People really do that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying she... And you would never know until it's too late. It's so, too late. So you can see that movie like, oh, this motherfucker's playing me. She, and she so, was. You know, and she was. So, and she, she almost got away with yeah, it all. And yeah. they, they were willing to give this lady with no green card almost $280 million. Could you imagine going to ask for that kind of money? Could you? No. Yeah, they're trying to stick it to you, know. One yeah. of them do like to, you know what I'm saying? She a woman. And you know? see, the thing was, she could manipulate people out the wazoo, and they just, they was with I mean, but what do you but, expect? But that's how people I mean, are. People believe on, everything. So I bad. know because they thought they Man. were going to get something out of it from her as Man. well. People I'm not, I'm just right, saying. But people are full of shit out here. People are finessing out here. Right? right. Um, <laughs> that's, what I, that's exactly what I'm saying. Mrs. Finesse Capital, you know that shit. <laughs> not Mrs. Finesse Capital. <laughs> I mean, he he ain't lying. Look. But I'm just saying, if you have not seen it, I just was like, dang. Ooh, almost like a tender swindler. <laughs> yeah. right. he, he ain't bullshit. No, he, he, but, nah. you know, but you know, like, man, man mm. I, I don't know. I don't. I can't see my, if I was one of women, I ain't motherfucker. If you don't know, baby, you don't know for the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's what I, they was doing, though. I know, but you know, you got to have common sense sometimes. Everybody ain't got common sense. Exactly. That's everybody does. I got a thing I call CBS. It's common sense, book sense, and street sense. You got all three of them, you a motherfucker. Right. Some people got common sense, they got no book sense. But the one thing she had going for her that I think people keep missing is she had confidence. She had straight confidence. That's all she had. She didn't have no money. Hey, sometimes, sometimes that's sometimes all, is all you need. That's like, all she had. So, so hey, if you, you got a gift for gab, people though. If hmm. you got a gift for gab, you can get anything ready. And it wasn't necessarily a gift for gab. Though. It, it wasn't. wasn't it but wasn't. you got you got to act like you're supposed to be there. Yeah, I, I, yeah absolutely. And I remember that time me and Fabian we was at uh, Memphis and May. We were shooting Memphis and May. And Fabian was like, "Hey, right, just just grab the stuff and just come on." And we walked in like we were supposed to have been there. And, right. then, and, and nobody stopped us. That was a deal. Nobody stopped us hey, when we walked but in. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I ain't mad at. And I'm that's just that's saying. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. If you know where you're supposed to be, or you boom. know where you're going. You know where you're going, boom. Mm -hmm. You just act like, hey, hey, stop me. Right, I dare you. But that's what I'm saying. You're I right. dare you. Some You're people right. don't but, do that but, shit. But people, like I said, some people do. So you can fool some people. Sometimes you can't fool all the people all the time. Just like he just said, the game. I, I, I can, I can co-sign it. At one time, uh, I heard Memphis, my artist, is one that's like one of the mm. top people on TikTok right Kwan. now. Yeah, he like he's like the third most viewed person in TikTok last year. He's like number three in the in the, in the, in the world, our nation, mm -hmm. whatever, our United States. But anyway, we had a show. I had him. I had him go up by one of my rental cars, right? Right. Mm -hmm. it, it was his show. I'm. I'm not even an artist, and we was pulling up, and he was in a rental car. Of course, and, that's and he's what a fucking headliner. I gotta go back to like, no, he on the show, all that shit. I'm about to go get the passing now. So some people just look at shit sometimes and, and and don't don't and don't study and question it. They just just look at the cover sometimes. Mm -hmm. I get you. That's I get but it. you can't always judge a book by you can't always judge a book you, by the you, cover. You, you can't, and that's one of the things I think that we all need to recognize is that not everybody is the same. Everybody is different. Right. It's how you act, how you. How you are, if you you supposed to be there, you there. Right. Miami Mike, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for blessing us at the Smoke Podcast. Man, you welcome anytime. Even if you just want to come down and hang out. Yep. For your you free drinks. Always welcome. And cigars. And we're gonna give you always go and you always <laughs> gonna smoke cigar. good here. You always gonna smoke good here, okay? And drink good. And drink, and drink good. good. Mm. Because, and because of you, we're going to always keep Crown Apple here. Thank yes, because we're going to leave it here. <laughs> right. gonna unless, always, unless Veronica uh, hits it, because if she hits she it, it's going to be, it. it's gonna be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap. The podcast liaison over Miami there getting B. it. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Veronica's cigar. She's like, I need another one, y'all. Mm. <laughs> That's Miami V over there. Uh, we Miami V. We Miami turn I. We done turned her into a cigar smoker. Oh, All right, y'all. Yeah. Until we smoke again, we will holla. We'll holla, y'all. This is the Spotlight Podcast Network.